Okay. Welcome. Hello, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Welcome and thank you for clicking to watch this video. Thank you so much to all of you, my returning subscriber. But if you are new here, you are highly welcome. My name is Lillian. Please do feel at home. And of course, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification. Put it on the one that says all so that anytime I upload a new video, YouTube will notify you. So today we are going on a road trip to the eastern region of Ghana. The difference is that I'm not, I'm not going alone. Um, I'm going with two other persons. I've been traveling this road not once, not twice, I think. So it's nothing new about it. But the new thing in this video is that I'm not going alone. I'm going with my friend who came all the way from America and also going with our own friend who came to pick us up at Achimota Mall. So, but then before we proceed, we want to stop by China Mall to pick up a few things. Um, my friend and I are not supposed to pick up anything. We are not even supposed to come down. But when she saw China Mall, she said she want to go in there and see what they do there. She want to know what is going on in China Mall. Yeah, coming from America. And then, so, this kind of places, <laughs> we in Africa... Uh, you all think we don't have it so for her her reactions when we got in there was so hilarious she was surprised that she could see a lot of the things she sees in america the things that her kids in america likes like the chinese noodles she saw these things oh you people have this also and i'm like hello Hello, you in, you people in America always think that we in Africa lives on trees. <laughs> okay, fine. To be honest, it's not like my friend do not know that in Africa people live normal because she's partly African and so. I'm so happy. Oh, Funny enough, my friend is African who have been living in the u.s for a very 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 long time and uh, so <laughs> so i always tell her to apologize anytime we see something and she's pleasantly surprised that we have it here i'll tell her you have to apologize <laughs> okay so the journey continues right now so uh this this is why okay let's get something how do you sell 12 cities. Well, what's the last? The last price is how much? This is just 12 cities. It's not 10. 10 cities, my friend. What about For my job. Pepper is 20 and then 10 cities. 10 cities? Yeah, 20. Yeah, 10 cities. The pepper is fake. This one. This one, 10 cities. Right? Yeah, it's this one. How do you sell this? How much? It's 15 cities. I like 15. This small thing. This thing, this thing is this thing is eight city. <laughs> is this banana or plantain? Plantain. Thank you so much, kindness. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we stopped by drink the you know, water, show my friend around, get some food stuff. <laughs> mm. <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, thank you. Really nice. Yeah. You want the flesh? Yes, please. Huh. maybe now maybe by now you understand the reason i cannot reveal her identity like that i cannot just carelessly put her face out there i am able to talk about her being around and all that she came for because a lot of people do not know who i'm talking about you get it it's part of protecting her own 
none of us right now in Africa or anywhere that want to build a house, that want to announce it before building, or maybe you want to get married, you want to announce it before getting married, you want to have a child, you get to announce it. No, you know people no longer do that. Like it's not the right thing to do. When you want to when you are on a mission to achieve great things, you don't announce it. So that is why I cannot just put her face out there because I want to get grant her interviews so my channel will blow at the expense of her own privacy. So uh please you guys bear with me, okay? My friend is not going to be on my channel anytime soon. But she's here. Sometimes I'll let you hear her voice. But I'm not going to put her out there like that. Because so I am willing to respect her privacy, protect her as long as she's here. So yeah, anytime she feels comfortable, when she has done all the things she came for and she wants to talk to the public, she wants her friends, her family to see that, okay, see what I have achieved, then I can now allow her, of course, who knows, maybe she wants to start her own channel, her kids may want to start their own vlogging channel, I wouldn't know. But for now, my own duty is just to protect and make her feel very, very comfortable and safe in Ghana. I know that Ghana is very safe. I've assured her of that and she knows. So if she didn't know this, I don't think she would agree to go to where we are going. Right now, we are going to a village. Of course, I'm not going to um put the name of this village if you know here it's okay it's good it's good that you do know here but i'm not going to um put the name of the village out there so where we are going is someone that my friend have been friends with and his family uh she had been following them on youtube since and they and they moved to africa i mean to ghana precisely from the uk so when she was searching for videos on you know relatable videos to her intentions like her wanting to move to africa so she was everywhere on youtube searching for where the best place possible to go to and of course she stumbled on the this channel this man we are going to see his place and also on mine and a host of others so but then she was really interested in me and this family because this family do not have any lineage or lineage which one is the correct one <laughs> she didn't this family do not have any lineage with um ghana so they are not by any way related they do not have any family here but they are jamaican who was born and raised in the uk and uh, so they decided to move to, uh to move back to africa and they choose ghana so she um a lot of non-africans and of course non-ghanians that wants to come to africa and settle he has been the um motivation their inspiration so we are going to see his place inside the forest okay so for me i have a video of me interviewing this man not in this particular one I'm going to find time to edit that video and put it out because I wanted to know why somebody would move all the way from the United Kingdom and then come to Africa, make it straight to Ghana, God bless motherland. And then they got to Ghana. We have beautiful cities like Accra. We have Kumasi. We have Takrade. We have um, okay, fine. We have towns like Akosombo. We have other places like Koforidua, Tamale. Okay, those are the few, uh, the few that I can remember right now. There are lots of towns in Ghana. So why did you not pick any of them to live in? Why did you have to come all the way to this place? So that is what I want to know you get it so and i am bringing you guys that interview pretty soon so finally after how many hours on the road we made it to the tent seriously this man and his family slept here when they first got to like when they when they first decide to start living here of course when you get to ghana you cannot just go straight uh you stop at accra 
the international airport where you stop you start from there to other places so how did you make your way from there to here is what i want to know all right so kind enough for him he was kind to grant us the interview i'm so excited okay so now um he's showing my friend around and my friend who's who have been saying she wants to leave <laughs> she wants to live in a quiet place she don't want noise she want to be in the bush she want to do this she want to do that i looked at her facial expression and i laughed i told her you see this bush you must live in it this is what you want now I know that you want to come back home to Africa and settle, but I don't think you want to live here where there are no hospitals, there are no portable drinking water, there are no um there are no schools around, there are no supermarkets. From this place to Accra is less than an hour. I know. With yeah, but then you know, I can live here. There has to be a hospital. But that's there what she didn't be, uh, understand. Now that we are here she understands it better and then now she will start to look elsewhere for where she wants to retire to a retirement home in my own understanding i, I know <laughs> okay it's a very long talk I, I tell you i lie you not this is why i cannot put her out there because she's here for real things like she wants to settle in ghana she wants to live here she wants to build or buy a house of her own she wants to invest yeah okay before you ask me if she have followed the due process yes so oh, she has okay i can't be sharing all those things i'm only sharing things that um i can share you get it as she do her papers to acquire all that she wants i cannot be taking her i cannot be taking you guys on that journey you get that but this one here is something this family is already on youtube i can talk about them and show them you know show you what how they lived because i have already um seen these videos on youtube of course they have their own youtube channel which i'm going to try and look for and link down in the description box so that you guys can check them out he's a really nice man oh my god he's a really nice kind sweet man so yeah i didn't get to meet the wife and kids because right now they are not here they are in accra for now um until the the house here is ready and as you can see there are workers construction workers everywhere trying to put the structure in order so that his family can return here this is what they want okay they can afford to be out there but they choose here and uh, from look of things a lot of people might <laughs> maybe coming back to africa soon because we were shown plots of lands that have been paid for and um, by people who are willing to who are looking to come back home seriously for me hearing on youtube and listening to someone i know and trust i know my friend is a responsible person she's a honest truthful person she will not lie for all that she has been saying about how draining the system in america drained her i am beginning to have a lot of respect for beginning to value and respect every single bit of thing that we have here in africa our only problem in africa i think is the leadership for now i believe in the future of africa leadership that one day things will be good so with all of this you know watching videos on youtube reading on the on on other social media platforms and then coming here in ghana and seeing someone that i can see feel behold talking to me about how draining the system the western system um is to her and them i feel like okay it's about time we begin to value what we have in africa so yeah that is why um my friend is here I'm knowing about her because she came through me. I'm knowing about Mr. King because he's on YouTube. I'm seeing other interviews because I'm seeing it on YouTube and other platforms. But there are lots of them that we don't get to see, that we don't get to see on the internet, we don't get to see on TV, we don't get to hear of. But every single day, people are coming back home to Africa to invest. And to just live a peaceful life some of them are not coming to work they just want to come and relax you know enjoy all that they have worked for 
and they are choosing to come back to Ghana. A lot of them are coming back and they are choosing Ghana. It's a big win for motherlanders. So you see where your good behavior has landed you. A lot of people, a lot of Africans and non-Africans that want to come into Africa and want to settle here, want to retire here, they are choosing Ghana and Gambia. It is not because of anything. You know, it's that peace that you guys are offering to them when they come. The peace that you have been able to build. Continue to protect it. I call on you Ghanaians. Continue to protect the peace that you're having now. Because... So the peace is something that everybody wants. Some people already have money, but they, they need peace. So when you're moving from a draining system of the West to Africa, you don't want to be kidnapped. You don't want to be robbed. You don't want to be killed for, you know, for having money. You just want to come back and relax peacefully and enjoy yourself and wait for the, the day that God calls you back to glory. So you guys are doing really well. Congrats to Motherlanders. Mm. <laughs> so yeah, I heard about another country <laughs> where she has visited, alone. which is uh, oh, Gambi I'm, Zambia. I'm really is it Gambia? Right. Okay, yeah, Gambia. She really liked <sighs> Gambia so as well. So, but I then the she's coming to Ghana. Good. Yeah, she's coming to Ghana for a lot of reasons. <laughs> Gambia is okay. also a good country, but she's mm. she has finally right. choose to come to Ghana so once her papers are ready she'll be looking to buy a land or buy a house for me after that buy a house I'm not going to help you run around to build any house the stress is there but anyone she can do she would do at the right time but I pray that also the um, our Nigerians abroad who wants to return to Nigeria but cannot one day you'll be able to come back home to your land don't worry God would do it thank you so much for watching this video i will see you guys in my next one bye bye love you